Frank Miller and Jeff Darrow's Hard Boiled, Colors by Claude Legree, published by Dark Horse Comics in 1990. <music> Greetings, friends. Today we're going to take a look at one of the greatest cyberpunk graphic novels ever penned and drawn. That is Frank Miller and Jeff Darrow's Hard Boiled, originally published by Dark Horse Comics. Now it's important to point out that I'm showing you the original version of Hard Boiled because this is, in my opinion, the best. Originally the intent in doing this video was also to show you guys that they have reprinted Hard Boiled in a graphic novel format uh, and it's brand new, just released in April of 2023. But then I looked closely at the reissue, and unfortunately, the entire thing has been recolored, and I think they totally blew it on the recoloring. First off, let's just get into Hard Boiled. Hard Boiled is an ultra-violent fever dream of a cyberpunk story, superbly written and drawn, and colored, by the way. Important. The three factors just go together beautifully in this original 1990 version from Dark Horse Comics. Carl Seltz is a suburban insurance investigator, a loving husband, and devoted father. Nixon is a berserk, homicidal tax collector, racking up mind-boggling body counts in a diseased urban slaughterhouse. Unit 4 is the ultimate robot killing machine, and the last hope of the future's enslaved mechanical servants. And they are all the same psychotic entity. So let's take a look at some images. I'm going to kind of skip through these three issues because I don't want to give away too much. As you can see, the colors on this by Claude Legree are just fantastic. And Jeff Darrow loves to do a lot of one-page spreads, and that is fine with me. The rendering, his draftsmanship, as we will see, is second to none. Very critical as far as the coloring goes. Now, as you see here, this guy is splattered with blood. There's blood on the back. It's all black. It's black blood. Practically everything in this series, when people bleed, it's black, and it was just a stylistic choice, and I think it works really well. Check out this double-page spread. Completely reminds me of something you would have found in Metal Herlant and or Heavy Metal magazine. And there's good reason for that. Claude Legree, the colorist, did work for Metal Herlant. There is an amazing complexity in Darrow's work here just the details, the cityscapes. So here's our man. He's kind of attached to the hood of this car, flying through the air, crashes into a building where people are having an orgy. Many cities have just degraded into nonstop sex and violence in the streets, anywhere. Sound familiar? And the coloring, once again, makes things nearly three-dimensional, like the car coming through the wall, right? It's yellow, bricks, red bricks flying out everywhere. The wall itself is this kind of mauve, purplish. Then you get into this sea green teal beneath it, and of course all the people below, and all these people having sex in this arena type thing. It just has a dimensionality to it that really struck me. I love looking at this, of course, literally just for the pictures, although the story is really great, too. I'm definitely not knocking Frank Miller's story at all. But I just love the fact that he's staying away from, like, your typical six or nine panel stuff. That is hard-boiled, friends. Nobody move. My name's Nixon. I'm a tax collector. His fingers all twisted back. He is just completely fucked up. Glass shards in his head, in his face, in his fingers. 
as he's wrapped with barbed wire without getting too much into this okay i don't want to show you everything because i really want you to read it find these they're not that expensive i found these for like 20 bucks for the three issues okay and the in very fine shape so you can find them they're going to cost you 20 to 30 bucks for all three issues far superior to the reissue in my opinion okay once again, check out this amazing little cityscape here. Cafe, good food. Check out this spread. The Pup Boys. <laughs> Manny, Mo, and Jack. Well, it's of course based upon the Pep Boys, but they got like dog ears. But just the attention to detail in this two-page spread and everything. This flying clown balloon. This character here. Love canals, 24-hour escorts. And there's Nixon going over the bridge in his car. I'm an insurance investigator. Okay, folks, here is issue number two. Now, in this cover, as you can see, the blood is red. I wonder if Darrow was an architect. Because this freaking, the draftsmanship on this one-page spread alone is brilliant. As you can see, it's like the tops of these buildings are like antique radios, right? There is no wonder why this series won the Eisner Award. Degradation of the cities. Here's the city street. You got people screwing in the street. People getting mugged, killed. All manner of freaks and degenerates in the streets. But it's just so wonderfully drawn by Jeff Darrow and colored by Claude Legree. Another impending disaster, this time in a giant supermarket called Behemoth. And if you pay attention, you can see people checking out this, like, a giant apple. This guy's carrying a giant jar of tang. This guy has, like, a giant beer in his cart. I swear to God, you could spend a few hours just looking through everything. This guy's got a huge jar of Pepto. There's our guy holding the gun. Sorry I'm late as he's just blown a hole through this guy's head. And we can see him in the background there. This is the third and final issue of Hard Boiled. Check out these one-pagers. God! The dog running. That is just, just beautiful. This is the way it's supposed to be. This is fantastic. This won the Eisner Award. Along with Frank Miller's great story, Jeff Darrow's art, Claude Legree, and his amazing color work. That's what won the Eisner. Not the reissue, not reimagining different colors for shit, but those three talents combined, won the Eisner. It's a milestone in art, but it's also a milestone in the entire cyberpunk realm. Sci-fi, AI, cyberpunk. It's a beauty to behold, so I highly recommend it. Check it out. See if you can find these issues, or perhaps a compilation issued through Dark Horse Comics. I hope you enjoyed this video on Frank Miller, Jeff Darrow, and Claude Legree's hard-boiled comic book series and if you haven't already please like and subscribe and i will talk to you soon